Hey, what's up guys? So I want to make this quick video today basically to show you how to reset and set up your TP-Link AC1750 Wi-Fi extender. Uh, I'm hoping this is going to be a quick video. As you can see, it's a one-man team. The tripod is how it is. I'm kneeling, so I'm going to get tired pretty quickly, but let's get right into it. Um, two things you're going to need. Number one, you're going to need a toothpick to hit the reset button on there. And the way I'm going to be setting it up is I got this, uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's called the Tether app. And you can get it in Google Play Store. It's made by TP-Link. It's used to set up Wi-Fi extenders like this. Um, this Wi-Fi extender is a dual band, meaning you can have 2.4 gigahertz on it, as well as 5 gigahertz speed. So, or as we say, 2.4G and 5G, sorry. But, um, so let's get right into it. I can't really zoom in or anything, but you guys can see that it's plugged in there, the lights are on. And on the right hand side of it, there's two buttons. One is the power button, one is the LED button. On top of those two buttons, there's a little hole, which is your reset button. So what I'm going to do is take this little nifty toothpick. Actually, before I do that, let me show you the Wi-Fi. So I'm not sure if you guys can see all that there, but it's going to say Jeb, Jeb 2.4, and that's for my router. And then it says Jeb 5G EXT, and it says Jeb EXT 2.4. So those two names are going to change, the EXTs, right? It's going to go to like TP-Link or something like that. But uh, let me go here and just reset it real quickly. If I could get my big head into there and find the hole. <laughs> so once you find the hole, make sure that you hit it like in the middle because it tends to slip out sometimes. So if it slips out, it's not going to really reset it. But uh, get it in there and press it for like three seconds. One, two, three. So as you can see, the light has went off. We have taken the first step. We have reset the Wi-Fi extender. Now it's going to take a little bit. The LED on the bottom, which says power is flashing. So it's going to take a little bit for it to kick back in. And I'm going to show you right here. On my phone, it just says Jev 5G and Jev, which is for my router. So the other uh, connections from the Wi-Fi center are not even showing because it's resetting. Okay, so after we hit that reset button, what's going to happen is the power light on the bottom, which you can't really see because of this table that I have here, but it's going to blink a little bit. Uh, it's going to blink rapidly. Once it stops blinking, you're good to go. Then what we're going to see is these new connections pop up, which is TP-Link Extender 2.4G and TP-Link Extender 5G. So click on any of them to connect to them. I'll click on 5G for the sake of the video. And now it's saying checking the quality of your internet. Internet may not be available. That's fine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back in that cool little app that I showed you guys, the Tether app, we're going to open that up. So click that. And as you can see, my devices, it recognizes the device that I have there. So it says local device RE450. We're going to go ahead and click on that bad boy. And now it's saying logging into RE450. And it does this scanning for the host network. So it should, I guess, find my router downstairs and it should find 2.4G and 5G as well. I believe from what I remember that we're going to have to use 2.4G. Actually, no, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay. Yeah. So now it says choose the 2. 4G host network you want to connect to. The only one that I have on my list that's 2.4G that I can connect to is Jeff, and that's for my router downstairs. So click on that and then put in your password that you have for the router. Uh, just a second here. Let me enter that. Once you have the password set, click next on the bottom. Then it'll take you to the next screen. It's going to say select the 5G host network that you want to connect to. Now, as you can see, it says Jev 5G, not Jev like the one previously did because that's the 5G connection for the router. So go ahead and click on that or whatever your host name is and enter your password that you set on your router 
for your 5G network. Then simply click Next. Now, I want to show you this screen, but it shows my password, so I'm not going to show you that screen. But after you do that, it's going to say Host Network Jeff 2.4G, Host Network Jeff 5G 5G. We're going to go ahead and click Next. Once we set those networks, we go on the next screen, it's going to show us this screen. You can change your networks, blah, 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 to whatever name you want. Um, by default, for the 2.4G, it gives me Jev under dash EXT. And for the 5G network, it gives me Jev dash 5G uh, under dash EXT. So that's good to go. My thumb is on top of my password, so I'm not going to show you guys that. But then what we're going to click is apply. And it takes us to this screen, which says applying your settings. And it might take a minute to do that. It's 12%, 13%. Oh man, I'm too tall, guys, to be kneeling like this, like my knees are giving out. But this is the only way I could make this video. So hopefully it helps you guys out. Hopefully you appreciate it. Because my knees are not appreciating it right now at all. Okay, so applying your settings, 45%. Give it a second to do its thing. Okay, so once it goes to that screen where I had applying your settings, once it gets to 100, it's going to take us to this screen, which says relocate extender, meaning put the extender where you feel you get the best speed. Um, personally, our router is in the basement, so I have the extender set up here on the main floor, like in the middle of the main floor, so the door is over there, back door is over there, and that seems to work fine for me. So yeah, that's the screen you're going to end up at. We're going to click Next. And it says, check the signal LED. Now, as you can see, after we reset the router, that wasn't lit up. So now that's lit up. That's good. Um, all three lights below are good and set up. So I'm just going to click done. And now it says connect to your network. Step one and how to connect. It tells you the names of the networks and the passwords. I don't want to show you guys this screen because it has my password. And uh, I'm just going to basically exit out of the app at this moment. I don't have to exit, but we're going to scroll down. And it shows me my 5G EXT and it says it's connected. So basically everything's set up. Um, just to do a little speed test while I'm here. I'm going to go to fast.com. As you can see again at the top, I'm connected to my extender 5G. I am on fast.com. It's doing a little speed test. Usually it's around like over 200 megabytes. This is saying it's 110 megabytes, which is still fine for me. And um, yeah, that's basically how you set up set up or reset the TP-Link AC1750 Wi-Fi extender. It's not hard at all to do. It's actually very simple. So I hope this video helps you guys out. But uh, yeah, the test is done. It's telling me that my speed through the Wi-Fi extender right now is 300 megabytes per second. So that's all good. That's all dandy. Um, I, hope that, like, I hope that video helps you guys out. If you have any questions, drop a comment.